When you're packing for your next Caribbean cruise, there's one type of clothing that you want to leave in your closet at home. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff, and I have some important information for you if you're planning a cruise to the Caribbean. Believe it or not, there are almost 20 countries that don't allow civilians to wear camouflage. And according to Wikipedia, a large number of those countries are in the Caribbean. From what I understand, there are two main reasons why you can't wear a camo. First of all, they don't want civilians to be confused with members of the military who are out patrolling the streets. Secondly, in some places, people who cause crimes or uprisings often wear a camo, and you don't want to be confused with those people either. If you try to leave the ship in these ports, you may be required to return to your cabin to change clothes, or there's a chance that you could be detained by local authorities. Before I tell you which countries are no camo zones, I want to quickly urge you to give this video a like and please consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. It's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. So here's a list of the Caribbean countries where camo is a no-no. Antigua, Bahamas, Dominica, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. As a side note, if you're cruising or visiting the Philippines, they don't allow civilians to wear camo uniforms, but it looks like other camo is okay. Hey, you've been warned, leave your camo at home, or at the very least, leave it in your cabin when visiting these ports. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads and hopefully not in a Jamaican jail cell.